Hi everyone, I'm Cinderay9, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3, as we head to our next destination, Ogre Road. You can be attacked in this place, so be wary. Go Titan! Alright. We'll just attack. And you hit the right person with that. Still did 30, but... <laughs> I guess Ryu would take nothing from it now that I think about it. Even though Gar is resistant to fire, thanks to the armor Ryu has right now, he's completely immune to fire, so... Uh, the Goo Titan has quite a bit of HP. And it can escape like that, which is really annoying. Let's see, there's a few things here, not a lot. There's that treasure chest. Tricker, who's still pretty fast, but that's about all he has going for him right now. <laughs> follow this path now if you notice those look different we haven't seen anything like that vagabonds a uh, new enemy uh, thanks to our high amount of defense now they shouldn't pose much of a threat This. There we go, no problem. With these plants up here, you can actually cut them with Ryu's sword, and you get horseradish. There are three horseradish here. We're going to take them with us, because why not? You'll see later. With that, I believe it's up here we can get to the treasure chest. A couple more vagabonds. Oh, Ryu's like, well, let's uh, move on. <laughs> Wants to finish this one quicker. And that's it. Now, I don't remember exactly what's in the treasure chest, but it's up here, so why not grab it? Uh, no. Further up. Ooh, maybe we'll get the initiative. That'd be nice. Nope! <laughs> of course not. We'll get rid of the tricker first. There we go. And not much to say about this place, honestly. Let me just grab this. Hourglass. Don't remember exactly what that. There's the horse rider. It restores 5 HP, but we'll be holding on to him. Uh, stops all but user for three turns. Could be handy. Let's go back up. Use a couple of healing herbs. Alright, now we just head back to where we were. You can jump down here. Another trigger and vagabond. There is one thing I should point out here. Uh, there should be an enemy called... Uh, I think it's Slash? 
Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I think it's called Slash or something like that. Uh, you can learn a enemy skill from it. So keep an eye out for that. There we go. All right, now we just continue along the uh, path of the road. And then this happens. Is this the monster? The tiger? Where tiger? We'll have guard attack. The where tiger can use snap to try to lower defense. It can also use a move called focus, which uh, raises attack power. As you can see, it has a decent attack as well. Uh, after a couple of hits, the Were Tiger will go away. So, and you see, it's not a boss battle or anything. You just fight it. it can. Maybe I'm not thinking of that right. <laughs> Miss! It's just attacking. All right, that's fine. Critical! Oh, hey, one snap. <laughs> Finally learned that. After trying a long time to learn it. This honestly isn't a hard fight. I'm stalling to try to get the move. I hope I'm remembering that right. I thought it could use uh, focus. Healing herb. Ow. All right, you're starting to do too much damage. I love reuse casting animation. <laughs> now, it, it's really cool looking to me. If you take too long with this fight, as you can see, the enemy can do a lot of damage. Rejuvenate! We'll just have Ryu heal and Gar continue to- There it goes! Escape! And then we just leave. So that's that. There's a uh, fishing spot over here. You take, there's another fairy ring. We'll go ahead and camp and get our HP and AP back. So we've had a few fights. Let's see if there's any change in the fairy village. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention last episode about the fairy village is uh, fighting will make time go in the fairy village. The other thing that will is uh, story events. When you advance the story, that will also cause time to pass in the fairy village. So I just wanted to point that out as well.
right? The letters was directed to the fairy tiara. Yes, let's take a look. Nothing new on the message board. You're right, yes. So, uh, nothing has changed except there's more food now. So, there is more food, so the hunting is going well. Uh, culture hasn't gone up and no new fairies have been, uh, born yet. Right, because it was at 10. Hope I'm remembering that right. So, there's that. That's pretty much everything we could do here. So, we're going to go ahead and move on to Mount Levitt. And go ahead and get into a fight. <laughs> Slasher! I think this is the enemy I was talking about. Uh, Re-examine re it, why not? Mind Flay! I think that's it as well. It's another one of those attacks like uh, Snap that uh, can lower a stat when it hits. Um, as you see, it lowers IQ, so it lowers uh, spell casting. Unfortunately, <laughs> because it's flying, it's kind of weak to the sword Ryu has equipped right now. Remember, wind property. So, yeah. Yeah, I can cut that. Eh, I didn't have anything. But you can't cut those. Anything over there? No. Uh, you can also do that in random battles. I don't think I ever showed that off. And we get two zinni. Woo! You can get a random amount of zinni from like I think the highest I've seen is like 50. Slasher Blue Goblin is new. Well, we'll just have Ryu attack the Slasher. Mind play! Bye! Jolt, not bad. Nothing too, too dangerous, though. The enemies will just try to wear you out, but if you have enough healing herbs, it's really not going to be that big of a deal. This is why I buy a lot of healing herbs. Uh, let's head this way to start with. I think we want to head... Well, one of these, so... Uh <laughs> There's another Goo Titan. I'm just gonna try to run. I think they have like 500 HP. They have a lot of HP. Uh, they probably want us to take the one... The first one, so we'll take this one. Aha! Uh, 800 Zinni. And that's that. Now we just go through the cave, and this will help us get back up. Simple enough. A lot of trickers, huh? Too bad I don't have a way to hit all of you. Well, <laughs> I can. Eh, yeah, why not? <laughs> Flying kick. Spend half of reused HP just to make this go faster. Blitz! Go away. Another reason I have healing herbs. Because <laughs> I like to use Blitz. 
just makes things go faster. Okay, that's everything there. Uh, I think we want to head up here now. Another Goo Titan. Maybe we're gonna go down first. Yeah, because what's over here? Hey, a treasure chest. Gold hairpin. Sweet, free gold hairpin. Oh, I'm actually really happy with that. I completely forgot about that. Now we head back up. Great! Couple of trickers, this won't take long. Attack. There's blind. I think I still need to learn that. Oh well. Go. Ooh, free gems. Nice. I like money. <laughs> okay, so we went to head up this way. Eh, Goo Titan. I just really don't want to mess with the Goo Titan. It's annoying because it has so much HP. And then most of the time it runs away anyway, so it's not like you get... You get a lot out of it. Now we head down. That should just be about the end of this area, yep. There we go. Uh, we have this hut up here. I don't remember if there's anything in it. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a healing herb. Anything down here? Oh, another one of these things. Again, we'll get to them later. Another uh, fairy ring. The fairy rings are all over the place. So if you really... You can really check up on the fairies a lot, which is nice. West, uh, do not mind. Does this place look familiar? Yep. Here's your all road. This is the bridge that was broken, but over the course of however many years... I believe it's ten, but again... I don't remember what they say, but uh, the bridge has been fixed, so there's that. But we'll have to see what's going on in the road, because it doesn't let us just go through it. So it must be an event here. Ah, huh, what's going on? I'm sorry, sirs. We'll have to ask that you wait here for the time being. Huh? We're investigating rumors that someone from McNeil Village has been smuggling foodstuffs onto the black market. Black market. Sorry. No one will be allowed to enter or leave until our investigation is finished. Hmm. I guess we're stuck here for a while. Let's go see what's happening in the village, hmm? Yeah, might as well if we can't go forward. So it seems like McNeil has finally been, uh, sniffed out. <laughs> Because we know he was, you know, doing bad stuff. Hmm. Would be nice to sleep in a bed for a change. Is there an inn? Yeah, there is, actually. We're here to get that tyrant of a mayor. Hey, looks like something finally happened. Hmm. Just like I thought. Not much to look, out, look at out in the sticks. Oh, well carry only the best merchandise not really it's pretty much the same stuff as it was before <laughs> we will however take some herbs uh, I 
that'll do for now. And if you're wondering, I don't care what Mr. McNeil's done, I just sell weapons. It's still the same stuff, in case you were wondering. <laughs> Right. I see nothing. I hear nothing. I know nothing. Remember, everybody's uh, freaked out. Hey! <laughs> That's right, sir. Mayor McNeil has been up to no good for a long time. Yes, sir. Yeah, look who it is. Welcome. Looking for a room for the night? McNeil Village has problems. There's a wild tiger on the loose. Yeah, we ran into it. And the mayor's under investigation for wrongdoing. But we're still open for business. Gotta make a living, eh? A tiger, huh? Wonder if it's the same one that got away from us on Ogre Road. That would be it. Got away? You mean you didn't kill it? Should we have? A few days ago, that tiger showed up! Wounded! It ran up into the cedar woods up north of here! Hmm... I'm not blaming you or anything, but you should stay away from the forest! There's nothing worse than hunting a wounded animal! <laughs> Perhaps we are not to blame, but would you like us to take care of the tiger for you? Would you? Oh, that'd be wonderful! I'll give you a special rate on the room as thanks! So we rest. Good luck! Alright, well now we have a destination. Let's go to Cedar Woods and see what we can find out. You! Cedar Woods. Looks like we're going tiger hunting. Now, unfortunately for the enemies here, <laughs> they are the same. Which means they have no chance at all. <laughs> but I like that. It makes our journey easier. So let's take a look around. To Mount Gloss. Double check your equipment before entering. Dead. Especially with Ryu Sword. Aw, oh, Gar, how'd you miss an Aigu? There we go. dead. However, you'll still want to take the battles because you can get healing herbs and vitamins and stuff. And if you run away from them, so be it. But uh, remember, battles are helping the fairy village grow. To Zinni. So let's just walk around this place for a little bit. As I try to remember where we want to go. <laughs> Well, I know where we want to go. I just remember how I have to remember how to get there. Thankfully, the battles won't take long, so it's not that big of a deal. Tipo, Ryu. Oh, look who it is. Uh. No! That was a bad no. I apologize. My throat kind of gave up there halfway through. You want to go alone? Hmm. It's my guess you know something about that tiger. In that case, I'll wait for you here. Mm-hmm. Hello. 
Look this way. Look who it is! Ryu? Is that you? Mm hmm? Was that you? On Ogre Road? Mm hmm? <laughs> so that was you? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? I never imagined I'd get beat by you, Ryu. I wasn't holding back at all, as we could tell. Still, I mean... It's nice to know you're okay, Ryu. I mean, I thought... On the far end of Ogre Road... There's a black market. The guys who tried to kill us, the ones working with McNeil, came from there. It took me a while, but I finally tracked them down. I kept an eye on who went in and out of the black market from the road. I kept on attacking them. I thought I would avenge you and Tipo. Look how I ended up. Feel a little better now, knowing that at least you're alive and well. But I can't stop. Not until I teach those guys not to mess with me. Or my family. Wait! So, yeah! That's, uh... As you see, everything's burned down. But yes, the uh, were tiger that we saw, that's Ray. And yes, he's actually alive. We should go catch up with him, though. I mean, he doesn't need to do this alone. What happened to the man eating tiger? He's fast. <laughs> to the village? Hmm? So apparently he went to the village. So we'll head that way real quick. Remember that influence? I have influence, right? I think I have influence. Influence is actually important. <laughs> I think somebody knows it. Sure hope so. It'll come in handy. You don't know it, do you, Ryu? No. Hmm. I'll have to take a look. If I don't know it, I'll try to learn it off-screen. Dead. Nina may know it, actually, huh? Anyway, I'll sort all of that out. <laughs> well, let's head back to the village. Huh! Well... Guess this man must have made someone angry for some reason. I wonder if that wasn't Ray just now. Oh no! He must have come back to take revenge on us! Ouch! Ouch! It hurts! It hurts! You know what, Loki? You actually deserve that. Well, 
Ray didn't have any of that. Guess he remembered Loki, you know, kind of selling us out. So, uh, yeah. We've heard stories from all the farmers around here that the mayor was selling crops illegally. So you're saying he had a he had disre disreputable acquaintances then. Now that you mention it, I remember seeing some rough-looking fellows going up to visit Mr. McNeil. Hmm. Well, why don't we head to the manor ourselves? See what's going on. I think I understand now. Why Ray hates these people so much. The mayor's behind all this, right? Well, he's a... He's a rung on the ladder. This may not be for me to say, but... Aren't you interested in getting revenge, Ryu? Like Ray? No, it's not what we're about. I see. I suppose things would get out of hand if you used your power. That too? Hmm? What's going on? Well, McNeil, looks like you just got arrested. <laughs> hey, who's the, uh... The, uh, lady there? Mr. McNeil, you have been found guilty of smuggling. In the name of the King of Windia, I hereby arrest you. No! You got it all wrong! It wasn't me, really! Hmm. We know a thing or two about your friends Balio and Sunder. The ones who work for the organization you told us about. But they... Are dead. Yes? Huh? Mm -hmm. Gar? And... Ryu? That's right! The, uh, princess has grown up as well. And, as you can see, she is in charge. Also, the Gold Knight, ready to go. <laughs> That's a true... A true captain there. He's ready. Gotta protect the princess, of course. But, with age, of course, now she has some more power. As you can see, she wasn't all happy about the Balio and Sunder thing. Who could blame her after everything we went through? So, now that her word is very reputable uh look what she's doing <laughs> huh yeah the guards are like wait what yeah they're all talking to each other hmm. long time no see yeah they're they're getting ready and she's like nope stand down it's fine this is the infamous mayor eh? yeah which means you just really lost the kingdom said no. Well, a voice of the kingdom said no. We might be able to tell you a little something about that organization. But first, I think you should send him off to Windia without delay. Bye! Hmm. Alright, Gar. Return to the castle. And take Mr. McNeil with you. Guard's like, uh, but princess. Uh, do what I say. There's that stance. <laughs> you know, the whole princess thing in front of her name goes a long way. Now, please tell me what's going on. Sure. So we'll give Nina the recap. And that's what happened. The power of the brood. Ryu? I don't know what to say. It's all so big. I only just realized that while I have fought the dragons for almost 500 years, I still know almost nothing about them. Hmm. Of course. Ryu himself is the one who must be really curious about them. Right, Ryu? <sighs> hmm. 
I see. Let's concentrate on more urgent matters now, okay? Hmm? Don't give me that look. What if Sin City is the headquarters of that gang? We should go check it out. Uh, yeah. No matter how hard we think about it, we're not going to figure out anything about the brute just standing here. So we should take care of the business at hand. The investigation. Such a smart... Such a smart princess. So let's get going. You know how to get to Sin City, right? Of course we do. And with that, the lovely Princess Nina rejoins the party. Per usual, she's equipped with what she had before. Armor and everything included. However, we can give her a nice looking gold hairpin. No weight, more defense. And she could kept she can keep the crep cape. I think that's all for now. Uh do you have the skill that I would like to know? <laughs> nope, you sure don't. Well we'll work on that. I may have it in the skill book. We'll have to see. But I'll do all of that off screen. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Cow. <laughs> oh, not the right way to go anyway. I'm going to go look for that that uh, influence skill because it can actually come in handy. And also, yeah, lightning's good enough. Lightning will be okay. We'll probably go with this. So uh, this will conclude this episode. Like I already did the whole outro and everything. <laughs> Uh, but I really like Nina. I like her, especially now, you know, she has that, well, let's just go do it attitude, you know, well, let's get stuff done. Sitting here is not going to change anything. So she's grown up as well. Next time, we will head to Sin City and see what happens there. Until then, I'm Sindre9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone. By the way, don't worry about McNeil. No matter how strong that tiger is, he won't be able to break into the castle. <laughs>